Today I have an iPhone 11 Pro that I have diagnosed with a short on PPVDD main, and I thought this would be a great opportunity for us to explore together, find, and eliminate the cause of this short. Let's get started. Here you can see I'm getting a beep. I'm not supposed to be getting a long beep like that. Like here, I'm supposed to be getting 0.7 something, and here, point, almost 0 0.3, and I'm getting a straight short to ground. Let's zoom in here, take a look. Yeah, I'm supposed to be getting 0 0.293 and 0 0.72, 0 0.742. Let's see what that's connected to. A lot of stuff. I like to save these FPC protectors. Once up to temperature, carefully lift the top board. And now we can carefully lift the bottom board. Let's test to see if that short's gone. No beep. Short's not on the top board. Must be on the bottom board. Let's check it out. Up here you can see I've got some test points. It looks like they're all, yep, we've got short, straight short to ground. It's gonna be somewhere down here. Here's a cap I can test, right there. Anything that's blue could be related. Most likely one of the caps. Let's look around and see if we can see anything. And look at this, this area is suspicious. Getting a hot reading around here on this IC chip, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. It's easy enough to put back. Let's check and see if I still have a short. Already eliminated this cap as a possibility and oh, we still got a short. All right, this is kind of the area of the heat coming from. Using my laser. There we go, get it off. Let's test. And no longer short. Yes, we found the problem. We just verify that by testing the capacitor. Let's uh, touch both sides and... Yep. There we got a wire. Clean up those pads. We add some flux. And this is one of my favorite new methods using wick and the laser. The laser gets the wick extremely hot and I can suck up all of the solder and make those pads nice and flat. I do go through a little bit more wick than I'm used to because it kind of singes the wick but it gets the job done real quick and nice. And I don't overheat anything. See how dark my wick is getting there. Let's clean it up. Q-tip isn't cutting it, so I'm gonna brush this one. There we go. Let's add some flux. Get a new IC. Line that up and let's solder it down. Now I'm not gonna worry about replacing that cap. There's so many caps on that line. One, uh, they're not gonna miss it. Oh, 
Oh, this cap's kind of pushing on the chip a little. Let me try to pull it down a hair. And we should be good. There we go. It's moving. There it goes. Let's add some flux around the border and get ready to solder these boards back together. Now, because I had a perfect lift on the, the boards and separating them, I don't have to do any type of reballing. Nice and hot. I love doing this with isopropyl alcohol, watching those uh, droplets bounce around. Carefully put the board back down on the heat plate. And I like to give it a little bit of a, a press because I still have the original solder and the spacers. You can kind of get it to spring back. And now that I know it's solid and it's perfectly aligned, we're going to carefully lift it up and lift it off. I like to go slow to let the board kind of naturally cool down before I give it too much uh, aggression to, to remove it. Carefully uh, use my other tweezers and get under there and slowly lift it off. You can also just turn off the heat plate and come back in 10 minutes and it'll be cooled down. But uh, sometimes I'm a little impatient for that. So here we go. Let it uh, air cool for a second and then we can, uh, we can uh, check out the sides and make sure it looks good. All right, take a look at that. We got no gap, looks as good as new, I don't see any solder balls, any squeeze out, it's nice and perfectly aligned. Let's test it, make sure we have completely eliminated uh, that short, we don't have any more short on PPVDD main. Got my red probe on ground and here we go, and look, 0.26. We wanted point two something. Point high two. And we got point seven on the other one. Good. Points point two eight. That's ah, close enough. The board's still a little warm, so it'll keep going up as it cools down. But that is good for me. Let's go ahead and put back the sticker foam FPC protector mesh to be professional. Make it look like no one's been in here, good as new. Put that last sticker back. Adjust it, make it look real good. There we go, looks brand spanking new. Now that I have it installed, we can connect the battery. And we'll test it. This screen is broken, but it'll uh, it'll get the trick done. Uh, battery's dead, obviously. So let's go ahead and plug it into power and see if we get life. And boom, there we go. Apple logo. Obviously the screen's broken. That's something we'll need to fix, but all I care about right now is getting this back on. No more short on PPVDD main. There you go. It's charging. Everything seems to be looking good. Except for that lightsaber going down the center of the screen. Yeah. like the video if you found this interesting thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video